This is episode 122 of Family Life Mornings, a morning radio show hosted by Steve, Therese, and Randy on Family Life. It's a network of stations across New York and Pennsylvania. Find out more about what we do at familylife.org and check out some of the moments you might have missed this week. You give thanks, you pray, and you trust every day. If you haven't already, subscribe today. Family Life Mornings, the nicest way to start your day on Family Life. What's for breakfast? I mean, you want to like do the healthy things. You're probably thinking like some non-fat Greek yogurt and a whole grain muesli granola or something like that. No, no, don't. Because I just read, this is crazy. Women who eat chocolate within an hour of waking up gain less weight from the chocolate than women who eat it later in the day. I was wondering why, it's this very from the very first moment this morning, you even had this ear to... And I'm just like <laughs> smile on your face. Chocolate is what's for breakfast, right? <laughs> so, I don't know. I mean, it's better to eat it in the morning than at night. Well, so. start now, I guess. Yeah, we have that granola for dinner. <laughs> Fun conversation, good music, and something to think about. Family life mornings. Where are you headed for the holidays? Many people traveling with Thanksgiving and Christmas mm-hmm. coming up. And interesting that uh, 14% of U.S. residents have never traveled outside the country. Well, that, that makes sense. It's like, I can right. see that. Mm-hmm. But 16% of Americans have never left their home state at it's all, something. ever, mm. born in a state, and 16% have never been. Now, as far as countries go, the average uh, person in the survey have been to four countries in their lifetime, four separate countries. And perhaps you can live in New York, the state of New York, and visit... Four countries while you're there. Really? Uh huh. Yeah. You got New York City, upstate New York, the Finger Lakes, and almost Canada. There's four <laughs> countries right there. <laughs> Please excuse our enthusiasm. We just love spending time with you. Family Life Mornings with Steve, Therese, and Randy. You ever gone down a water slide? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of them. I think mm-hmm. they are a lot of fun, especially uh, refreshing. On a hot day, if you're outside going down that slide and splashing down into the water, great stuff. But I really never thought of a water slide as being a life saver. Of course, I never thought about a steer going down a water slide either. What? Oh, cow. Huh? But it did. The The cow escaped as it was being led to the slaughterhouse. And it ran over to a neighboring club that happened to have a water slide. It ran up on the slide and actually slid halfway down the slide before it kind of stopped right in the middle of it. Well, the bovine is now a local celebrity. People are coming to this club to see the water sliding cow. So he's not (laughs) going to be slaughtered. People have turned him into a celebrity and a lot of people uh, kind of gather together, and they have to be told to move along. Oh. But uh, the cow's he's, he lives because of the water slide. What kind of bathing suit was he wearing? <laughs> Spotted. It's the craziest thing I've ever heard. I've heard. We're part of your complete breakfast, Family Life Mornings. Back pain. I've never had it don't want it. Mm. We all know someone who has suffered from back pain and even the thought of getting out of bed in the morning or going to work and sitting at your desk. It's an awful feeling. uh, I've been told by people, you see more and more the stand up desks uh, to help help those things. Right. Uh, Right. Now there's another idea that's not official yet, but this guy who has suffered uh, from chronic back pain since he's a teenager has come up with it. Even a new kind of desk. You may see it work. This guy's name's Alex, and someday, if you're like Alex, you may be going, hey, where's Alex? I don't see him. He's, he was here earlier. Well, he's lying down on the floor. He's come up with a new desk where you lay down and you mount a monitor on the underside of a table. Because sometimes with back pain, I've seen it, maybe you've seen it at work, people like, they go and lie down yeah. because it feels good to lie down. Right. Well, he has an idea where you put the monitor on the underside of a desk, <laughs> oh, wow. you're actually laying on the floor while you're doing your work. Huh. Again, it's not official yet. He's still working on the idea. I am sure, though, if he gets a no from a company, he's not going to take that no lying down. Yeah.
Well, maybe he will. Perhaps he will. A fun way to start the day and nothing to embarrass you in front of the kids. Family Life Mornings. Would you take a class on laughing? <laughs> okay. There is. <laughs> I mean, we, we, we have known for a long time now that laughter is really good for you. It's healthy for you. Correct. Well, now some colleges are offering classes that's entitled Laughing. And uh, you can actually take one of these courses online if you want to as well. <laughs> now, now here's what's really kind of interesting. Fake laughter is also good for your health. Is great it's, at this. it's not as good. It's not as good as the real thing, right. but right. fake right. laughter still is good. So that that tells me, Steve. Mm-hmm. Right. Go ahead and keep telling your jokes, so, man. So, I'm right. still I'm still helpful then. Yeah, You're no so what, helpful, man. What? That college class sounds like such a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Was that real or fake? I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> a new day, a new start, a God who never changes. You're waking up with Family Life Mornings. You might be a little bit nervous about next week, you know, everybody around the table. And is somebody going to say something that's going to lead to an argument? And how can you head off that argument? Well, one thing you could do is take a tip from fancy restaurants. Have you ever noticed nobody's really fighting in those fancy restaurants? They're quiet. And one of the reasons why is that the yeah. lights are dimmed down mm. a little bit. People are less likely huh. to argue and raise their voices hmm. when it's a little bit dim, you know. And so that's why the candlelight, the soft music, everything just makes everybody kind of have a nice, peaceful meal. It's going to be kind of hard for your family to figure out where to pour the gravy when you're serving them in pitch blackness, right? <laughs> They're morning people because they love mornings and people. It's Steve, Therese, and Randy on Family Life Mornings. What do you wear to travel? Let's say, for instance, your trip is going to be 1,800 miles from uh, Antarctica to a nice, comfy beach in New Zealand. You want to oh. wear something comfy when you're going to travel that far. Sure. Certainly wouldn't consider formal wear. Well, that's exactly mm. what this traveler wore. And when he arrived at the sunny, sandy beach in New Zealand, in tucks and tails, it caught people's attention. Because they weren't used to seeing that. A little penguin on the beach. (laughs) (laughs) You'll always wake up on the right side of the bed when you start your day with Steve, Therese, and Randy on Family Life. A friend you can turn to. Make good choices. I'm sorry. That was that was my mom. Are you trying to <laughs> sound like a mom? <laughs> mind that. that was that bad. Was that, was, that was not good. Make good choices, young man. Uh, we all have heard make good choices. <laughs> and that could even mean what you wear today and where you go shopping today. Oh, boy. This guy was at one of those big box stores, the home improvement stores. Yeah. He was walking down the aisle, and there was a guy, another man, and then a, one of those electric cart chairs that, you know, zoom along and that kind of thing. Well, it stopped because the battery had run out. The battery had run out in this guy's electric cart. So he asked this guy, who was another shopper, to say, hey, can you can you fix this for me? Can you get you another cart? And the guy kind of stopped and looked at him, and he went, um... Uh, Yeah, I guess. Well, see, this guy who we asked was wearing an orange shirt in this big box store, home improvement (laughs) store. Got to be careful. Got to be careful. Make Mm -hmm. choices. So he went. But this customer, this was called customer customer service because he went and got another card for this man and came back. So that's great customer customer service. The lesson here is when you make good, I mean, make good choices today is if you're planning to wear a red and white circular pattern shirt uh, and you're going shopping in another one of those big stores, (laughs) give yourself an extra few minutes, will you please? (laughs) We know you have lots of choices. Thank you for picking Family Life Mornings. I don't know if you have plans for tomorrow morning. If not, you need to make some plans ASAP, like shopping or going out to brunch or maybe a little road trip, something. Saturday morning has been identified as the best time to clean your house. So just make plans, you know, for Saturday morning. <laughs> and then yeah. and then you don't have by the way, the yeah. worst time yeah. Yeah. to clean your house mm-hmm. is Sunday night, which is about when you're sitting on the sofa looking around going. Man, I really didn't do much around this house all weekend, and now it looks pretty bad. Should have cleaned. Too bad this is the worst time to clean the house. <laughs> is the sun breaking through yet? He is the dawn. You're getting your day started with Family Life Mornings. Give thanks, pray, and trust yes. every day. 
It's great advice. It's not my advice. It's what the Bible says to do. Give thanks, Mm -hmm. pray, and trust. What do you do when your infant son is told by a neurologist, a very well-educated person, Mm -hmm. meaning well, that your infant son has a rare genetic disorder and will not live past the age of two? Mm -hmm. You give thanks, you pray, and you trust every day. And it's an every single day process. So when your son, who's now two, still there, what do you do? Well, you give thanks, Mm -hmm. you pray, and you trust every day. Every single day. So now, that same infant son is 24 years old, Hmm. the valedictorian of his university, and has a prestigious job. So what do you do today? You give thanks, you pray, and you trust. Every single day. Steve, Teresa, and Randy. Because you can never have enough friends. We're Family Life, a friend you can turn to.